Hey, this is Aaron with Faith to Walk Ministries. Just kind of enjoying a little bit of no rain outside in the back deck. We have some water spots here, so forgive that part. What I want to do a video about today is us Bible reviewers. We do Bible reviews on new Bibles that we get, either that we buy or that maybe a publisher has sent to us to review. And that's great. But you know something? I'm, I'm going to start doing another review about when I, if I start using a Bible in like a daily use, I'm going to also do a review of that Bible six months to a year to show people how it wore. Um, and I'd ask some other reviewers to do the same. If you ha have reviewed a new Bible and you used it six months, a year, two, three, five years, just state how many years you've used it as a daily, as a daily use and show us that Bible again so we can see the wear of that Bible. So we're gonna talk about this one in a moment. Talk about this one in a moment. Talk about this one in a moment. Let's start with this one. Um, now, most of you, if you've uh, seen some of my channels, you know I preferred the King James Version because of the manuscript evidence. But for a long time, I actually, uh, I did use the NIV for many, many, many years. And I used the New King James for many, many years in, in my preaching. And <laughs> this Bible was the last uh, New King James Bible I used uh, while preaching. Um, I think the inside looks pretty good. This is from Kirkbride. Uh, <laughs> look, um, it's, it got to the point where the leather was separating so much, I could put my fingers in it. Um, now this was a bonded leather. Um, so bonded leather does wear so much faster. You can see even cracking on this. Um, I had a college librarian at my church that actually I took it to the college library and she did the book date thing. Um, but the inside, you know, looks still pretty good. You got some yellowing, you know. Actually, I used this for many years, preached out of it for many years. This is one done by Kirk Bride. And, you know, it was just falling apart. So I did that. I uh, still have it. And then I went to the King James um, Thompson Chain by Kirk Bride. This is a rebound um, because I had, this was a genuine leather. It had pebble in, in it and it, it was really nice, but I'll tell you what, the thing was starting to fall apart as well, even though it was genuine leather. So this is a rebound. Um, actually, somebody close here does rebind and they did a pretty good job. It wasn't a thick leather, but it's a pace down. That's what a lot of rebinders do, but did a good job. This is the original part of the inside. Lost a little bit of the guttering uh, when he did it, but look, I mean, he did a great job on the rebind. I mean, just a really good job on the rebind. And so I've used this one for many, many years. Uh, I wrote in it. Uh, this is before I got into the Micron pens. Uh, this is just ballpoint pen ballpoint pen but is is held up really well most of these markings are you know 10 years ago eight eight years ago something like that you know it's um didn't <laughs> didn't have the nice uh, book tape and so there's some ripped pages in here i do believe it's either first or second corinthians Let's see here. Must be 2 Corinthians. Yeah, here it is. <laughs> you can tell. This is just scotch tape. I was turning pages real fast one day and it ripped right all the way up through here. And so, had to tape that back down. Just regular scotch tape. Didn't know about nice book tape. But hey, did a good job. I mean... I'm sure that it will start to look bad later. But tape that thing up. A lot of writing. They don't have a lot of writing uh, places in this, but I wrote some. It's a rebound. Wasn't like the beginning. 
Sorry, it's just taking a while. I'm gonna write some back here. Write a lot in the Bible itself, though. So it held up really well, um, except I had, I had to get it rebound, rebound. But that's what you do. Uh, this, oh, I don't know how long I got this one, maybe six, nine months ago. This is the one I did a video on called The Workhorse. Um, it's held up really well. This is uh, the center column reference Bible Turquoise from Church Bible Publishers, Top Grain, Cowhide. I won't go into everything I did on the workhorse part, but just love the print. It's broken in. I could probably break in a lot more still. I've been using this one as my almost my daily one for, like I said, probably about uh, six to eight months, something like that. So it's been really nice. Now I have had to glue a little bit. This uh, part here on both sides was separating from the edge line. Pretty good. And so I've had to put some super glue down there. I had to do it again there. I also had to, I guess there was too much material. So I've had to glue the edge line down here. It was curling up really bad in the front and the back. But hey, this one is uh, the Thomas Nelson Premier Collection King James Version Center Giant Center Column Reference Bible. And this is goat, black goat skin. Um, I, I've, I've been using this a lot. If you watch my videos, the Know What You Believe series. Uh, this is the Bible that's featured in almost every one of those series. I mean, it's very good. What have I done with this one? Glued the edge line a little bit here. That was coming up. And like I said, I've been using this one pretty well. well not every day, but it's not an everyday thing, but I've been using it a lot. I've had to glue a little bit here. And I have had to glue... A little bit of inside, probably about in the front and back. This was separating, coming really far apart here, here. So I had to put some glue there, glue there, so it wouldn't separate any longer. Same thing back here. It was separating really, I mean really bad. Not really bad, bad, but it was separating like up to here on both sides. So I put a little glue so it stopped doing that. And something else that just started noticing because of a brother on one of my YouTube videos commented on it. I'm like, it's red under gold guilting, but see kind of what's happening? The gold's coming off a little bit, revealing that red underneath. But you know something? That, yeah, that, I'm not going to say it couldn't be better. Yeah, it could be better. Because this is printed in China, so maybe they just didn't have what they do with young blood in the Netherlands. Nonetheless, even if all my gold comes off, even if all my red comes off, and all I have is paper color, that's not going to change whatsoever the inside of this Bible. I'm still going to use it a lot. Not as expensive as, uh, once again, a Cambridge, Schuyler, R.L. Allen. Um, so that's what's nice is you have that floppiness, you have goat skin, you have, I think it's a calf skin liner, you have edge lines, smite sewn, and it's still, you know, it's still aren't guilted. Every Bible, I think you know, that has a crinkle page uh, in the front. This one has a crinkle page in the back. You can put some tape there to keep it from going any further. I have not done that. So what I would like to see is... Once again, if you do a review of a new Bible, hey, that's great. We want to see it. But if you use it six months, year, two, three years of daily use, I would like to see it again. Let's see how these Bibles really stand up to everyday use. That'd be cool to see. Hey, thank you for watching. God bless. If you like what you watch, subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Appreciate that. Thank you for watching.